Google recently updated the Google Chat Idle icon this past week. It's very similar to the old Google Hangouts where it turns orange if somebody hasn't responded or typed a message for the past five minutes. So you can see this here on the uh, Google Chat Workspace blog from May 13. Here's what it looks like when you're in Google Chat. When we go over to Google Chat, we have a list of all of our chats. Obviously, I've zoomed in here and you can see all the different conversations that I have on a regular basis. And you'll have the three different colors here. Green means they're active, they're participating. Uh, white means that they're away. And that still may mean that they're just have another window over that window or they're doing something else. Uh, and then you'll see this orange here that has an idle, which means they haven't done anything for uh, five minutes. And then you'll notice here when we have our multiple chats, those do not have status updates because there are multiple people involved in these individual conversations. Obviously the last one that you would see is red, which means they're away uh, from their chat. And the way that you can actually change these status updates is up here. So if you're in chat.google.com, up here you'll have a few options. Automatic is based on activity, do not disturb, you can actually put notifications on and you'll mute everything for a certain amount of time if you're heading into a meeting or heading into an IEP or something like that. Then you'll see set as a way. That's what I have is always set as a way because I'm moving around the building and different things that are going on right now. I can also put in a customized status here, right? Be right back. And that'll be the message now that you'll see that I have a little shoe and it just says, I'll be right back. So you can add custom statuses if you want here. I'll take that off. You can write your own, you could put an emoji. These are the four that have the built-in emojis. Uh, you could grab something from Emoticon and add that in here if you want it as well. So if I could just do this, um, lunch, we'll do that. Copy here, paste it there, and just type in lunch. And then you can still get that a little Emoticon right there when it popped in. So that is the new update to Google Chat. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.